Alright then, so let's see here. A uh, quick look at a photo. Hi, Mary. A uh, quick look at a letter. Restless dreams, Silent Hill. Promised you take me, never did. Special place, waiting for you. Right then. So, hello, Raw Mithril here once again, and it's time to continue our trip through Silent Hill 2. So, here we are at the Woodside Apartments. Yes, I remembered the name of them this time. So, let's start looking around. One thing that makes itself obvious very quickly is it's rather dark in here. Yeah, I guess what James forgot to bring. So, since that door was locked, the first floor is off limits to us right now. So, let's try the second floor. And already we're hearing some static. We can take a quick peek in here. There's a trash chute. There's some kind of strange garbage stuck in the hole. Maybe if I drop something heavy from above. Oh, it's a shame the washers and dryers are a little too big for that. So, let's see. Our first target is fairly obvious as to what we need to find. And it's not you. Oh, you're getting up again? And running off, you little bugger. Oh, fine, I'll come back with something else. Now this room seems rather bright. Here we have a dress mannequin that, oddly enough, is dressed like Mary. That's kind of creepy. But it has a flashlight for us. And this flashlight immediately illuminates a new enemy type, the mannequin. These two will become fairly common, but they're not too difficult to deal with. They can do a lot of damage if they gang up on you. But overall, the main threat with them is they do not trigger your radio until they start moving. So as long as they stay still, uh, yeah, they can sneak up on you. Rather troubling, that. So now that we have a flashlight, we can fully explore things. The trouble with the flashlight is it does attract monsters. But it's not like we're trying to hide from them anyway. There now. Right. So time to start exploring. This door is locked. This door is non-existent. Lovely. This door is locked. Quickly narrowing down the options, at least. This is where we came in. There's the laundry room. And lock is broken. So, let's see here. Okay, we've checked off checked off everything along this path, so let's try this little hallway here. Lock is broken. Always good to be thorough. Now we have a few bars there that keep us from going further that way. and a room with ominous music. This note, it must be from the person who lived here. Three different sizes, time on the run. Three young men circling round the sun. Henry is short and very, very slow. Scott can't stop, he's always on the go. I also have an empty chair. A television with nothing unusual about it. 
newspapers we don't really seem to care about. And this mysterious room with a clock. The clock is stopped at 4.32 and 15 seconds. The faceplate is closed. It is locked. I can't touch the needles of the clock like this. If we look on the side, however, there's something written here. There's writing. The scars from the past shall remove the nail that stops time. Will you push the clock? No matter how hard I push, it doesn't move. It's like it's stuck to the ground. The final thing of note in here for now. Henry Mildred Scott. Oh, we just heard two of those names. I'll let you puzzle over this for the moment. We can't really do anything with this just yet. So for now, that's all there is to really do in here. Yep, nothing to get in the little kitchenette there. So out we go. So we've done everything we can in this little hallway. But there's another hallway to try out. Henry, you are not stealthy. Can't get that door open. But this one I can. But there's an inhabitant in here. Don't mind me. But he's not the only one. Get some handgun bullets. But in here we have a mannequin that was trying to remain unseen. Oh, getting up again. There we go. Now that things are all nice and quiet in here. More newspapers that we don't seem to care about. A bathroom that we have no interest in. Is there really nothing in here? Seriously? Uh, another thing Silent Hill loves. Pointless rooms. Right then. I mean, there are at least handgun bullets on the table there. Hmm. Yeah, that's it. Pfft, well, that was a boring room. And I just went into the closet. There we go. There's the door. I see you there, mannequin. You're not hiding very well. I wonder if there's a technical term for a fear of mannequins, because these things are creepy. So that's everything there is to do for now on the second floor. We have a clock puzzle, we have a locked door. Two locked doors, actually. But nothing else we can really do for now. So, let's try heading up to the third floor. Let's see what we can do up there. floor already has some ominous noise going on here. Sounds friendly enough to me. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? It's only Silent Hill. We have a grating here that James seems interested in. There's a key on the ground on the other side of the bars. If I stretch my arm out, I just might be able to reach it. 
Sure, let's get that key. That's simple enough, right? If Konami was trying to make a likable, cute, fun child character, they failed miserably. This grating, however, it does narrow down our options of what we can check out here on the third floor. But we may as well see if there's anything of interest here. A uh, lock is broken, can't get through... This one we can enter. Oh, no static buzzing yet. But we have a shopping cart with a handgun inside. One notable thing, though. If you don't have the flashlight yet, James can't see the handgun, so he can't pick it up. So make sure you get the flashlight first. As for the handgun, from the looks of the wall, it's seen quite a bit of use. One has to wonder just what happened in here. But that seems to pretty much be the only thing of interest in here. Locked doors that we can't go through, all that kind of thing. So, let's just get out of here. And we can't get through that door, so the third floor is done. Hmm. Thanks to the bratty little kid, we don't have a new key, so what do we do from here? Well, we may as well check out the second floor for now.